Animal activists are a voice for the voiceless, and after years of fighting, they finally see a step in the right direction. President Donald Trump signs a bill making animal cruelty a federal crime. THV 11's Jordan Howington tells us why advocates say this new law now offers new hope. Yeah, Arkansas has seen failed bills when it comes to protecting animals. It's seen even more cases of animal abuse. And police and animal activists across our state hope this new law is a change needed to save lives. It's definitely a big step in the right direction. Casey Severins works with CARE, a Little Rock dog profit saving abused and neglected animals. So timid, so scared when we pull them from the shelters that you can just tell they've been terribly abused. He blames poor laws for the continuous cycle of animal abuse. But now with the new Preventing Animal Cruelty and Torture Act, law enforcement can hold the abusers accountable. Your hands are kind of tied. Todd Krausen with the Bryant Police Department has seen some of the worst cases. He specifically remembers a gruesome case from February. There was a couple over here in Alexander. They had a video where they were um, using a, a leather belt, I believe it was, and, and hitting a, a, a dog that my understanding was blind. Both were charged with cruelty to animals, an unclassified misdemeanor. But under the PACT Act, abusers now would face a federal offense. The law criminalizes specific animal cruelty and makes exchanging or distributing animal abuse videos illegal. This law is going to really help out and help hopefully cut down on a lot of the animal cruelty when people see how, how much trouble that they can get into. Severance, who's a voice for the animals, hopes the fight for them doesn't stop here. I really hope it's going to force the hand of state lawmakers in Arkansas to start ramping up you know, animal cruelty laws within this state. Now, a person convicted under the PACT Act could spend up to seven years in prison. And I would like to mention Congressman French Hill was the only Arkansas lawmaker to sign on as a co-sponsor to this bill.